how y'all doing i do know eventually facebook is probably going to shut my channel down so you guys are going to probably see me trying to push some videos through uh, before they do it so here we go this is rock island armory five inch barrel 1911 a2 22 tcm this is a 40 grain jacketed saw point check out the ammunition there now this is a gun they came out with this is a little cheaper this is expensive this is a little cheaper this is i guess based off the cz this is a rock island armory map m a p p 22 tcm 9 r this is a 39 grain jacketed soft point but if you can see right there that it's it's got more jacket than it does soft point i'm wondering if that's going to be a good or bad thing i think this penetrates a little better if you want to compare the two take a look there's a huge difference there i think the 22 tcm 9r will penetrate better but i think the 22 tcm 40 grain jacket assault point is going to do a better job see when they first came out with the 9r they said it's the same bullet but i don't think it is somebody told me that they actually cut the speed down on this and i'm not sure if it's true because i'm not i don't belong to rock island i don't know all this but uh they say this is about 1800 feet a second and this is 2000 feet a second but now this is a they could be correct but only because of barrel size this is four inch barrel five inch barrel oh uh, i think i'm talking too damn much let's see what happens here <coughs> now both these guns are loaded all we gotta do is kick the safety off and uh, I think I'm gonna do the maps first so this one's going in my back pocket cocked and locked 1911 uh, 1911 hands down my favorite firearm I am starting to get I'm really starting to love this CZ type gun uh, what you would do normally if you're carrying this you take safety off half cock i thought you should put it all the way forward but no that's definitely wrong because it still hits the firing pin if you drop it then put your safety on if you want but you take your safety off and it's double action but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pop the hammer back all right let's see what happens here all right i really don't want to destroy my table so i'm gonna duck down ah after i shoot this one, I'm going to just put it on safe, drop the gun in the ground. Then I'm going to get the 22 TCM out. I think I'm going to get wet here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that all right <laughs> all right boy my pig's gonna eat good today 1911 cocked and locked unlocked ready to rock here we go <laughs> oh wow i had a failure eject on this one and this one hasn't been bugging me for a while i'm wondering why that did wonder why that happened well I probably should have cleaned it, and I didn't. But, ah! Uh, that last shot got watermelon in my beard. Uh, let's walk up there and take a look. There's the firearms. You know what? I had failure on both firearms. Look at that. Ah! Uh, Son of a bitch. Well, 
I definitely should have oiled some of these guns. I guess that's going. We're going to call it that. I'm not sure what you're going to call a winner on this because that looks like sliced watermelon to me. The loser part I'm going to call is why did both of these firearms fail to eject? I mean, it's a little nasty out here, but it ain't like I had the guns out in the rain. Well, what can you do? Well, I'm going to gather all this up and feed it to the pigs. God bless. And it is cold out here. Look how much I'm bundled up. Bye.